All right, thank you, Matt. An entire week after election night, some counties across the state are still counting ballots, including right here in Pima County. That is right. So there are still tens of thousands left to count in Pima County, and those outstanding ballots will decide some very close races still. News for Tucson's political specialist Eric Fink is live at the election headquarters with the latest out there. Eric. Well, hey there, Monica Sean. We are expecting another ballot drop here in Pima County shortly within the hour. Pima County says they still have about 62,000 ballots left to count. That number is expected to shrink by the end of the night as election workers are counting ballots right now. Pima County election officials say 88% of the count here in our county is complete. Many of the election workers are volunteers. They are both Democrats and Republicans, making sure this process is accurate and fair. I spoke today with Jen Fifield. She's from VoteBeat.org. She's an expert in elections and the counting process here in Arizona. And she says with the two-card ballot this cycle, it's leading to more voters making mistakes and that leads to election teams, bipartisan election teams, having to determine voter intent, and that is very time consuming. You get a very long ballot and you try to fill it out and you get halfway through and you make a mistake. And sometimes you would, at a polling place, request a new ballot. But if you're halfway through this very long ballot, do you really want to start over? And so people that are trying to process these ballots now are having to decide what these voters meant to do when they made a mistake. And that is taking more time than it typically does. And we're seeing a lot more voter errors across the state. Again, we are expecting that next vote drop to come within the hour. Pima County here has been dropping 15,000 to 20,000 ballots for the last several days each day. And we'll be back at 5 o'clock with the latest numbers. We're live from election headquarters on the south side. Today, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.